The state rep facing felony charges, and it's not the first time. 7 Action News reporter Curtis Jackson is live in Detroit with the very latest. Curtis. It's usually a good thing when politicians run on their records, but constituents in Harper Woods say Brian Banks has the kind of record you want to run from. And after the charges filed here in 36th District Court, many say their worst fears have been realized. Good night, good night. At a ball game near Harper Woods, it was deja vu all over again. We're not surprised. Um, I think we knew at the last election what he stood for. I'm not surprised, and it, it's almost comical now. Constituents of state rep Brian Banks are not surprised. He's once again facing felony charges. The state attorney general says Banks submitted phony pay stubs to get a personal loan from the Detroit Metropolitan Credit Union. He's facing charges that could put him behind bars for years. They sent a felon to the legislature. I guess they should expect something to pop up. This is not the first time Banks' finances have gotten him into trouble. In addition to the credit union charges, he's also being charged as an habitual offender. That's because he has a record of bouncing checks in 1999, 2000, 2003, and 2005. No answer at the Democrats' home nor at the door of the house down the street where neighbors say his mother lives. His campaign slogan promised voters they could bank on banks, but some of them knew he would eventually strike out. Didn't vote for him. Wouldn't vote for him. What do you think he should do now? Resign. Now, according to state law, Banks does not have to resign unless he is convicted. That means he can continue to collect his annual salary. According to state records, as of June 1st, Banks makes $71,685,000 a year. Live in Detroit tonight, Curtis Jackson, 7 Action News. All right, Curtis, thank you for that update.